Welcome to the 20 best movies about making money and getting rich. And we start with number one, The Wolf of Wall Street. Sell me this pen. This is the true story of Jordan Belfort, a stockbroker who in just a couple of years went from nothing to millions, living an incredibly luxurious and extravagant lifestyle. In this movie, you follow his complete journey from starting out on Wall Street to building his own company and scamming his way to the top with shady deals. This is the ultimate get rich quick movie and whilst his methods may be immoral and often illegal, seeing the yachts, the parties, the luxury, it might be quite motivating for you to go and make money yourself. This film also has a great cast and is directed by Martin Scorsese, so what more could you need? Number two, The Founder. I want to take the future. I want to win. And you don't get there by being some aw shucks, nice guy, sap. There's no place in business for people like that. Business is war. Ever wondered how McDonald's went from a single store to a global fast food empire? The Founder is the true story of how that happened. And so, as you can imagine, this is a movie with plenty of money making and business deals involved. Like any entrepreneurship story, there's plenty of ups and downs along the way, but seeing the process Ray Kroc goes through makes this a great rags to riches story that will no doubt inspire you. This is the most remarkable restaurant I've seen in all my years in the food service industry. I want to hear your story. Number three, The Big Short. I'm kissing. I'm looking deep into your eyes as I make love to you, Vinny. I'm handing you the deal of the century on a platter. The financial crisis of 2008 affected us all, but how much do you really know about what happened? This film tackles that in a very entertaining way, breaking down complex financial terms into simple, funny and entertaining concepts. At the heart of this story though, it's a tiny group of people who knew the crash was coming and heavily bet against the economy, making a lot of money in the process. This is a film all about money and how it impacts us, and has a great ensemble cast, including Christian Bale, Ryan Gosling, Steve Carell, and Brad Pitt, to name just a few. Plus, Margot Robbie in a bath. Charlie, oh, stop it. What? Do you have any idea what you just did? Just bet against the American economy. Number four, Limitless. Are you really implying that you have some sort of ultimate formula? Well, from 12,000 to 2.3 million in 10 days. I do have a formula, Mr. Pierce. In this movie, Bradley Cooper's character goes from being broke and depressed to rich and everything he ever wanted. And it's all thanks to a brand new drug that unlocks his full brain power. However, the pill has plenty of side effects and once he starts mixing with the wrong people, things take a dramatic turn. However, ultimately, this is a film showing that with the right drive and focus, someone can get very wealthy. We see his character learning to invest and day trade on the stock market, and making so much money that he can live his dream life. At least, temporarily. Anybody ever jump? Yeah. Oh my God. Number five, American Hustle. Start, let us do what we need to do to rule out corruption and to get rid of the payoff guys that are ruining this country. That's my dream. Don't smother it, please. American Hustle tells the story of some con artists who set up an elaborate sting operation to catch some corrupt politicians. As you would expect with a film about con artists and sketchy business deals, there is a lot of money to be made. The question is, who will actually end up making it? Who will come out on top? Overall, American Hustle is a unique film that's well worth a watch and stars Christian Bale, Bradley Cooper, Amy Adams, and Jennifer Lawrence. Always take a favor over money. I think Jesus said that as well. Number six, Molly's Game. The players that are losing 100,000 a week are gonna be losing half a million. Those players winning 100,000 a week. We'll have no one left to play with. Some will drop out, it's not sustainable, we'll lose the game. This is the story of how 26 year old Molly Bloom ended up running the most exclusive underground poker game in the world. In this film, you will see someone going from having almost nothing to having more money than she could dream of. But of course, the world of high-stakes poker leads to her mixing with some very interesting characters. 
I'm hoping you'll accept this as temporary collateral. That is an authentic Monet. Number seven, Joy. Just put it in your window. Let your customers decide. Maybe, maybe you can sell one of your mops to those big companies. And maybe they'll put it on my show. Everyone loves an underdog story. And this movie is definitely that. Better yet, it's based on a true story. Joy, played by Jennifer Lawrence, is a divorced mother of two with a number of hardships, yet she rises against all the odds and sets up a successful business empire. It all starts with her finding a solution to a problem, the self-ringing miracle mop. And the film follows her journey to bring her invention to life, along with her struggles getting the business started and trying to make money. It's also got Robert De Niro and Bradley Cooper, and if you're at all entrepreneurial, this is likely to get you inspired about what's possible. What was that? It's, you know, a dating service for widows and widowers. You're not a widow or a widower. What's the difference? I'm single. Number eight, Slumdog Millionaire. That used to be our slum. Can you believe that, huh? We used to live right there, man. Now, it's all business. This is a totally different kind of rags to riches film. Instead of business or shady deals, this is the story of someone becoming a millionaire in an instant, by winning the Indian version of the game show, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Except it's not quite that simple. He's accused of cheating, and to find out whether he really did know all the answers or not, this film takes us through Jamal's very dramatic life. Good luck here. If I would you ever take the money around, you're not gonna get the next one. Number nine, War Dogs. Everybody's fighting over the same pie, but they're ignoring the crumbs. And when you're dealing with the Pentagon, crumbs are worth millions. War Dogs is another film with a crazy plot that is again based on a true story. Starring Mars Teller and Jonah Hill, War Dogs takes you through the journey of two normal guys becoming international arms dealers. This includes becoming gun runners, negotiating deals with the government, and making a lot of money in the process. We start the film with Miles Teller's character being broke, only to become insanely wealthy once he gets into the shady world of arms dealing. And so it's a very entertaining film with lots of money and drama involved. Please tell me you're aware of the legislation the Italians passed last week. The one banning all arms shipments to Iraq? Uh, of course. Number 10, Boiler Room. Give him 10,000 shares. He just can't sell it before we say so. No joke, Seth. At least six months. Greed, corruption, and fast money are at the heart of this movie, Boiler Room. When a college dropout gets a job at an investment firm, he is put on the fast track to wealth. If you've seen The Wolf of Wall Street and enjoyed it, this film definitely has a lot of similarities, especially when it comes to the pump and dump stock schemes with stockbrokers looking to scam a lot of money very quickly. Boiler Room also has several iconic speeches about making lots of money and is a very entertaining watch. Do you want that confirmation sent to your office or your mansion? Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, very funny, Mr. Marlin. Number 11, Catch Me If You Can. I'm a co-pilot for Pan Am. I'd like to cash this check here and then I'd like to take you out for a steak dinner. Catch Me If You Can is based on the true story of teenager Frank Abigail Jr., played by Leonardo DiCaprio, who manages to forge millions of dollars in checks whilst posing as an airline pilot, a doctor, and a lawyer. As a result, he begins living a very glamorous life, fueled by all the money he's making from his forged checks. But this movie is really an ongoing battle between Frank and the FBI agent trying to catch him, played by Tom Hanks. So you can make fools out of us all? I'm really sorry if I made a fool out of you. Uh, no, no, listen, no, I no. really am. I you, you do not feel sorry for me. Number 12, The Banker. Do you plan on starting to buy real estate in white-only neighborhoods, Mr. Gary? That's exactly what we're going to do. The Banker is one of the newest films about making money. Released in 2020, this is a drama focusing on two of the first African-American bankers in the United States. But these big businessmen aren't just trying to make money, they're also trying to take down the racist establishment of the 60s. This film isn't talked about as much as it had a limited release in cinemas, but it's now been picked up by the streaming service, Apple TV. See, that's what I like about you. You are a good person, but that's gonna change when you get rich. I'll take that risk. You ain't gonna have no choice. 
Number 13, The Pursuit of Happiness. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. You got a dream, you got to protect it. After Will Smith's character essentially loses everything, he has to pick himself up and work harder and smarter than anyone else to build a better life for him and his son. This movie is less about extravagance and luxury, it's more about the struggles of making money and trying to get by, especially when you don't have money to begin with. As a result, this is definitely an inspirational film. I had to go to college to be a stockbroker, huh? You don't have to. I had to be good with numbers and good with people. That's it. Hey, you take care. Number 14, The Social Network. You signed the papers. You set me up. You're gonna blame me because you were the business head of the company and you made a bad business deal with your own company. This is gonna be like I'm not a part of Facebook. It's not a spoiler alert to tell you that Mark Zuckerberg is now a multi-billionaire since he created Facebook. But how did he get to that point? How did he go from being a kid at college to building a business that would change the world? And of course, make him incredibly wealthy in the process. This film from David Fincher shows us that journey, all whilst being framed around the legal battle between him and the Winklevoss twins, who are accusing Zuckerberg of stealing their idea. What are you doing? Checking in to see how it's going in Bosnia. Bosnia. They don't have roads, but they have Facebook. Number 15, Billionaire Boys Club. You ruined Joe. All he ever wanted was to belong, and you made him think he needed a BMW for that. Billionaire Boys Club is the biographical drama of a group of guys in the 80s who establish a get-rich-quick scheme that turns out to be deadly. This film is fueled by money and wanting to get rich, and the business they create is literally a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid scheme, which makes it a very unique and interesting movie to watch. It's a film that not many people are familiar with as it had a very limited theatrical release, but if you're looking for a movie about making money fast, this may be the film for you. I realized that day that sometimes the truth is the best lie. Number 16, There Will Be Blood. You've got an ocean of oil under your feet with nowhere to go. Why not turn it over to us? You spend time with your boy. I'm gonna cut your throat. This Paul Thomas Anderson movie was incredibly well received by critics, not just for the story, but for the acting, cinematography, and much more. It stars Daniel Day-Lewis as the ruthless oil prospector who goes on a relentless pursuit to become the most powerful oil magnate in the business at whatever cost necessary. IMDb perhaps best sums it up with the tagline, a story of family, religion, hatred, oil, and madness. Here's the Union Oil. 100 miles of pipeline and all the independent go. producers of this great state. Number 17, Wall Street. Pick the dog with the least fleas. Use a stop loss so uh, downside's 100 thou. And buy a decent suit. You can't come in here looking like this. This classic Wall Street film, released back in 1987, stars Charlie Sheen as a young and impatient stockbroker, willing to do anything to get to the top, including trading on illegal inside information. When he meets the infamous and ruthless Gordon Gecko, who believes greed is good, the two team up to try and make a lot of money together. What could go wrong? Come on, pal, tell me something I don't know. It's my birthday. Surprise me. Number 18, Casino. There's a lot of things gonna change out here, and if you wanna be there with me, Sammy, you're gonna have to go my Nick, way. I'm responsible for thousands of people. I got 100 million a year going through the place. If you want a film all about getting rich, then just from the title Casino, you can probably tell this is a film packed with plenty of money involved. Essentially, we see a mafia enforcer and a casino executive compete against each other over a gambling empire. As with many films on this list, there's not just plenty of money involved, but greed, power, and even murder. It's a classic crime drama from 1995, but still holds up very well to this day. Look what they did to my hair, man. You can either have the money and the hammer, or you can walk out of here. You can't have both. I just want to get out of here. Throw them out in the alley and just tell the cops you got hit by a car. Number 19, Focus. My dad, he said, um, there's two kinds of people in this world. There's hammers and nails. And you decide which one you want to be. 
Will Smith and Margot Robbie are once again making our list, as Focus is another movie featuring con artists who use elaborate schemes to get rich. It begins with Nikki, played by Will Smith, taking an amateur con artist under his wing, only for things to start getting very messy. It's a film with lots of twists and turns that will keep you guessing until the end. When did you make us? Uh, when you stole the wallet from the bum downstairs. And why'd you come up here if you're so smart? Professional curiosity. Number 20, Margin Call. Well, we have to hold these assets on our books longer than we might ideally like to. These are essentially just mortgages, profile without raising any red flags. Margin Call shows us one full day at a Wall Street investment bank in the first phases of the 2008 financial crisis. The movie takes a closer look at the greed and fraudulent actions of many Wall Street companies around that time. And knowing that this kind of thing actually happened makes it all the more chilling. However, it's undeniably interesting to see the inner workings of this world fueled by making more money and getting rich at all costs. You told me they were going to drag me through hell on everything over the next two years, or I could come back here and make $176,471 an hour. Didn't seem like much of a choice. Now, I know what you're thinking. If only there were a video list like this for TV shows about making money, business, and entrepreneurship. And there is. It's right here, and you can go and watch it right now. But if you did enjoy this video, this channel also posts videos about how you yourself can actually start making money. So feel free to subscribe for new uploads very soon. I'll see you next time. Cheers.